Hello and welcome back to part two of Transcending the Code of Separation. In this discourse, we are discussing the program of duality in ways that we can dissolve the duality within. It is through the program of duality that keeps the human code of separation deeply entrenched. Duality is perhaps our greatest dilemma as an entire race consciousness. The sheer ignorance of our true nature keeps us revolving around a wheel of such great suffering and conflict. Of course, we all know that duality is a false program of perception created by the human intellect and continually fed by its fears. It is the duality within us that is in resistance to another aspect of itself due to a mindset that perceives from separation. This perception has become so severely distorted that it has built up fortresses of defense to keep it securely held. As long as we continue to feed the dualistic matrix, we can never transcend it. Therefore, we'll forever experience conflict in our lives. It's certainly not an easy program to master. The human blueprint is encoded to perceive from separation. Not only are we dealing with genetic predispositions and ancestral imprinting, we are also born with divided brain hemispheres, memory loss, gender division, and very limited sensory capability, to name a few. Our highly polarized emotional blueprint fuels the duality extremes that are outplaying in our world today. This emotion-driven mindset brings division to everything it touches. It's one thing or the other, black or white, good or bad, right or wrong. To give clear examples of how duality operates, we can look at the idea of supremacy and racist ideologies. In duality, the view is that one person is above another. It discriminates and holds prejudice. Some people believe their cause is more worthy or more deserving than another. People compare themselves to others, judging as being better or worse. Duality programming creates an us-versus-them mentality. We can consider how the two forces of good and evil are always warring against each other. In this view, there is either a tendency to either attack or defend. This ideology has become so extreme that humans are convinced that they must constantly compete, fight, and even kill each other. Clouds of confusion also arise out of the many labels used to identify who we think we are, such as race, gender, religion, nationality, economic worth, and political agenda. These labels, and many more, only keep us pinned under an oppressive spell. In truth, the source of all is absolute creator, the universality of all manifestation. This means that all pairs of opposites have the same foundation, abundance, and lack are from the same source. Empty and full are from the same source. While different in frequency, they live on the same polarity spectrum, are extreme manifestations of the exact same energy, and are deeply interdependent upon the other 
at the human level. There is only one overarching power in the universe, and this field of energy is omnipresent, pure divine love. To say this is not just a statement of adoration to our Creator. It is a statement of principle. It is a statement of the great universal law of one, of absolute unity. There is no second power that can compete in war against this. Absolute means absolute. Creator, as Divine Presence, exists everywhere. It exists in the good things and also what we perceive as being bad. It is both light and dark. The idea that we are separate from one another is a false program. God dwells in us, and we dwell within this magnificent creation field. We live and have our entire being inside the body of absolute perfection. Contemplate this. We are breathing every breath inside the awareness of this all-pervasive field which influences every aspect of our lives and every twitch of our muscles. The divine presence of our individual being has never left us, and we have never, ever been separated from this abiding love. Divine presence is a flourishing force of energy with an ever-evolving and expanding expanding nature. To embody this energy in and through our physical form, we must free the human perception from the dualistic influences of attraction and aversion. It is easy to do this when we focus all of our thoughts, words, and actions on the highest benefit of all whether good, bad, or indifferent. Through this alignment, we are operating in coherence with the universe, and we begin to live, perceive, and create from the divine consciousness within us. If we truly experience from the eyes of divinity in the sense that all is part of of a harmonious whole, then we do not create a conflicting pole. Thus, no tipping of the dualistic scales occurs. This, my friends, is a golden key. This perception gives us the ability to work in the deep and muddy trenches if we have to, yet not be affected by it. This is because we are consciously aligned to the wholeness of life. Many people indeed are making this monumental transition. It is accomplished through dedicated efforts to completely shift the perceptual awareness and one that thrives in resonance to a more supreme system of thought. We will continue this discussion in the next discourse, and more specifically, we will be covering the golden pathways to transcend the duality within.